Hey there, this is Uncle from TacticalGamer.com, and we're going to be going over how to be able to use the vanilla uh, spawn as civilian units or uh, modules, and then get actual um, modded civilians. Okay, so we're going to use the set unit loadout command, and sometimes the get unit loadout command in order to uh, copy. But uh, first of all, the set unit command, we can use this option where we use a config file reference. And what's nice is that within uh, Project Op4, we have sometimes a randomized unit. You can select a random Takistan civilian with one class name. So that's what we're going to do first of all. So jumping over to my editor. Okay, so over here, I've got a spawn uh, civilian or civilian presence module. Uh, code on unit created was what we're going to edit. Um, here's their spawn point and they're basically just going to move to this endpoint and then be its terminal which means the unit will get deleted as soon as it reaches that point. Okay so what's interesting here is uh, we'll get in into the simulation and then I'm going to get into the Zeus camera so we can fly a camera over there and just see the vanilla units uh, and take a look because this first solution comes with a, its own set of problems. Okay, so here's our units that are being spawned in. They are vanilla um, units. And we can just check out the types of faces that they're getting. All right, so it's entirely randomized. There's guy, red head, red beard. Um, here we go. This guy's got a hat, but obviously Western faces, right? What I need to do is find the class name reference, the config file reference for a randomized unit. So the random civilian will pick automatically from any of these existing 15 units. So I've already placed one down here. All right, if I go and find it in config viewer, I need to get that config file reference for it. All right, so in the config viewer, you can see I've got the class name selected. All right, and here is my path. This is the text I need to copy. So I'm going to select the path, press Control C to copy it, and just close that out. In my civilian presence module, each time a civilian is spawned in, it's going to create the civilian, and we can pass some code to be run on it, and we can refer to the spawned unit as underscore this. So this set unit loadout. And I'm just going to put this in brackets. Uh, config file, config vehicles, LOP, Takistan, civilian, random from Project Op4. That's it. All right, so I might as well. And we should have those civilian units uh, being spawned in now. They should be wearing um, the same uh, clothing, basically, as a randomized Takistan civilian from Project Op4. But their faces will still be the vanilla faces and their voices will still be the vanilla voices. So that is the shortcoming of this method. Although it's easy to do, right? You can see though, we still have Western faces. All right, and I don't know how much these units might speak. There we go. But uh, that's the problem that we would have with this. So how can we do that? Well, doing this another way. Uh, by actually placing some civilian units down and copying their loadouts. So this is what I've done. Over here. Um, and I've copied them way off the map here. Let's see if I can get my camera down here. So these guys here, I've copied each, placed each one of these units separately. And each one of them, I named a different name. C for civilian, from zero to 14. So there's three rows of five. And as you can see here, some of these guys, I've already randomized their loadouts. This guy's got a fedora, okay? 
Obviously, it wouldn't be part of the regular class name. I've gone in and edited the loadout. This guy, I've given him a pistol and a couple of them I've given a weapon. So you can completely set up your own set of units that you can copy your loadout out of and then anything that is spawned in there will get them randomly. So that's pretty cool. Uh, in order though for a Zeus to not be able to or not delete these by accident, I've grouped them and in their group name, I've set their call sign to be don't delete template units just as a way of indicating. So if a Zeus is curating a mission, uh, hopefully they'll realize that when they're trying to delete extra units that they don't need, that they don't delete these ones, because if they do, obviously they won't be able to copy the loadout. Um, so I'm gonna get back to the a different version of the spawn AI module, which I've got over here. I've got two spawn points in this one, right? This module is covering this area, this square. All right, and they will be spawned in and move to either one of these two waypoints. All right, but in this one, I've passed this as a parameter to a script called spawned unit converter. Let's take a look at that script. So I get the unit that was spawned and I store it in uh, a variable called unit. If it's not the server, I exit the script altogether just because I'm not sure, I don't have, uh, I haven't opened up the module and, and looked at the functions in the module yet. Okay, so the unit the copy is gonna select at random. I have to put in here the 15 units that I spawned in and gave them separate loadouts. It's gonna select one at random, and then it's gonna set the unit uh, that was spawned to the unit that we've chosen at random. Then it's going to lock the identity of the unit. I'm not sure why this script I've got really from Roke the Gamer, who did this up for one of our other members for one of their missions, and I thought it was so cool, I want to share it. So, and then we're going to set the speaker. We're going to copy the speaker from whatever unit we chose at random and set that. It has to be remote ex ex executed. <laughs> and then we're going to do the same thing for the face of that unit. And that's all we have to do. All right, let's see it in action. Getting into the Zeus camera. And here we go. So these guys have already been spawned in. They've already been set to a random of any one of those units. They're just gonna walk down to here, get deleted. And All right, eventually. For some reason, these guys aren't getting deleted. Okay, those guys are. So, so far we haven't gotten anybody with weapons and I don't see anybody with a fedora. But that will happen eventually. Let's see what happens. Let's clean this up manually. There's a fedora. All right, so we know that this uh, is getting the loadouts randomly like that. Um, and so far we haven't seen anybody come in with a weapon. And I can see that my civilians have a don't delete template units. There's a guy with a weapon finally. So we know everything is working as intended. So super easy to do. Um, obviously, just as an example now, let's delete these. Alright, my next spawned in units now will because there's nothing left to copy this is the danger with it will now just be the vanilla units so that is the danger with doing using this method uh, because we actually placed units and then copy their loadouts is a Zeus could come along and delete those units accidentally and then break that uh, civilian model 
that you're trying to go for in your mission. That's Uncle from TacticalGamer.com, and I will catch you on the next one. 